Good evening. I don't usually show you guys my shop in this kind of state. Usually we start off a video with a beautifully clean bench, but I just don't have time for that. I'm partway through a project. I've got one started here. Multiple, actually. That's why my bench is in such a shape as this. And that is a couple of Buck 110s. Uh, this is an order from a customer. I just finished up another one. I've done multiple. Uh, if you remember, I posted a little while ago a picture of another Buck 110 with some bison, I believe it was uh, buffalo horn scales, I replaced the stock scales. That was an older used buck 110. These are two brand new buck 110s. And uh, <laughs> it was a little bit difficult for me, but I had to completely strip them down and we're gonna be doing some work with them, which I'm excited for. The scales for one are undecided, but the scales for the other one is something really, really special. So what you're looking at right here is another knife for the same guy, a friend of mine, a friend and client, very good client. And uh, this is a little case knife. This is his son's knife, actually. A little case, three bladed. And uh, it just had the stock synthetic brown jig bone look scales. And I replaced them with this stabilized, uh, I believe it's mammoth tooth. And it's some pretty amazing stuff. It's got some sort of translucent layers in there. Although a little bit dirty right now, this is that buffalo horn that I was talking about. I showed this in another video. If you want to go check that out, I'll link it here now. But this is that bison horn. Check out that black. I think this looks absolutely fantastic. I did a bit of a blade polish there. It's scrubbed up a little bit now. But you could get the idea. Beautiful beautiful knife. The fit and finish on this one is uh, is near perfect as well. And I, of course I love that black. Then for this custom buck tan, of course you gotta have a custom sheath. Check out this leather work. This was all done by myself. Wet molded so it's uh, it's pretty hard there and then you can see it's wet molded so of course that knife just clamps right in there perfectly. This is not going to come out. This is an old vintage case knife. It belongs to the same person. And uh, I did this job some time ago, uh, earlier this winter I believe. So now we're down to our two stripped 110s. These are brand new. It's a 420HC models. The bolsters are a little bit smudged up now from here in the shop, but of course we'll take care of all that when we're done. So we have a perfect finish. Brass is soft, so you can do almost anything you want with it. And let me show you what we're putting on one of these things. This right here is stabilized mammoth tooth. This stuff looks unreal. It's such a crazy look. I haven't worked with it yet. The, the green one I showed you, that was a little bit difficult to work with. Actually it was pretty tricky because it tends to crumble a little bit because there's so many layers. Once it's on there of course it's all backed with epoxy so it won't move but trying to sand it and cut it before then is really really tough. This stuff feels a little bit, uh, it's a bit thicker, feels a little more solid but just to give you an idea of what that's gonna look like have a look at that. That should look absolutely amazing really excited to get this on the knife uh, yeah so I'm just going to take this over to the belt sander and get one flat reference side so that can meet here for example and then I'll be able to to mark and cut this side and then sand into a flush fit Exactly it. That's, that I have a chapter in there on raising kids. It says, uh, 
don't like your kids, don't let your kids do anything that makes you dislike them. It's like, well, that's first predicated, don't make me agree to do this. Why is that a monster? Because you have to be, because no one will take you seriously otherwise. No one will take you seriously, like... Uh, in online discourse, people try discussing these in very tumultuous times. So now you see that we have like some hangover here and in here a bunch, probably a solid quarter, three eighths of an inch right here in the middle that we have to remove. Going to remove that on the belt sander, but we still got to be careful at this point because even though this material here is supported, if you break away this overhang, it could break into the surface of your uh, knife in here, which you definitely don't want at this point. <laughs> 